Good afternoon. I am Dr. Hitesh Garg. I am working as Senior Consultant Orthopedics in the Department of Orthopedics and heading the Division of Orthopedic Spine Surgery at Artemis Hospital, Gurgaon. Today we are going to talk about of one of our star patients, Mr. Kevin Parrott. He came in touch with me through the internet around three to four months back because of his very severe back pain. His case was a little different from the routine because he has undergone multiple surgeries. He, he actually suffered from L4, L5 disc prolapse for which he underwent an artificial disc replacement after which he, he did wonderful for some years and after that he had to undergo fusion for the same level uh, in the back. But after some time he, he met with a little injury at work and he started having severe low back pain which radiated to the left lower leg. Another complicating factor in him was that he already had put a spinal cord stimulator for the management of this chronic pain. Now at present he was taking a lot of morphine and Percocet and still his, his quality of life was pretty bad. Hi, my name is Kevin Parrott from Denver, Colorado and I came here uh, to get back surgery. I talked with the hospital for a few months prior and I lived on morphine and Percocet for the last 13 years with zero quality of life. I put on 100 pounds in weight and just was very miserable. He, he really, he was in need of big help. So we communicated through the emails and we had made a plan before he came here that uh, most probably we would need to do a fusion at some other levels. Now the problem was with spinal cord stimulator in, we cannot get an MRI. So either we remove the spinal cord stimulator and then we do the MRI. But then if we remove the spinal cord stimulator and God forbid he needs a spinal cord stimulator again, that would need another like maybe 30, 40,000 US dollars. So we did not want to touch the spinal cord stimulator. So we took a very different approach for this patient. We did examine this patient in detail, did discuss his concerns and we did a CAT scan and looked at his CAT scan, looked at his facet joints, his discs and we made a plan that we would do a spinal fusion because his L4, L5 is solidly fused but he has adjacent level disease at L5, S1 and L3, L4 where the facet joints are pretty arthritic and they are giving him a lot of pain. So we decided after discussion with the patient that we would do L3 to S1 fusion and we would keep the spinal cord stimulator. We consulted our pain management department, they guided us about the placement of the leads. We looked at the leads on the CAT scan and during operation, first the first thing we did was we secured the spinal cord stimulated leads and then we proceeded with our routine surgery of L3 to S1. And, and I come down to spinal fusion and I had all kinds of other issues, uh, spinal cord stimulator, previous surgeries, but they worked through everything uh, in the most uh, final uh, financially beneficial to me and I have uh, had the surgery I have been so blessed to have met these people they uh, have taken care of me so well I I have forgotten to take my pain pills for the first time in 13 years I and this is just in the last uh, seven days eight days from surgery, I've lost 25 pounds, and I could not be happier with this hospital. I would highly recommend them, and I just, uh, I, I am, I am beaming with with excitement. I get my life back. I it feels like I have been released from prison, uh, uh, the prison of pain, and I just can't thank uh, the doctors and staff and everyone here enough. And the country of India has welcomed me with open arms. I have made so many new friends. Uh, everyone has just treated me with the utmost respect and care. And I thoroughly appreciate it. And today, uh, I'm very, very happy. The patient is just 10 days post surgery. He's off most pain medications. He told me that he has been going around Delhi, visiting most of the you know places. He, he walked like five to six miles every day and as, as you know, you know, the, the smile on the patient's face brings smile on the doctor's face.